Shelton High School's robotics team, also known as 5295 Alternating Currents, is making last-minute plans to fly to Houston, Texas. There, the team's qualified to compete in the Four Inspiration and Recognition of Science, or FIRST, World Robotics Championship, April 19th through the 23rd. To qualify, the team finished 8th after 12 qualification matches at the Pacific Northwest Championship on April 6th through 8th at Eastern Washington University in Cheney. At a school board meeting Tuesday night, Shelton School District Superintendent Alex Apostle and the school board congratulated the student robotics team. Apostle says the district is committed to financially support the team as it ventures to Houston. Uh, the district is ready uh, to support you in any way possible to make your uh, Houston trip as enjoyable as possible. Team members were already raising the $20,000 needed by selling $5 tickets for the new Fast and Furious movie to be shown at 10 a.m. Saturday at Shelton Cinema. Shelton Robotics team students were in high spirits Tuesday night after Apostle's comments. Shelton sophomore Carolyn Clary expressed what was going through her mind as the championship approaches next week. I'm wondering, okay, how am I going to get there? What am I going to do? How am I going to bridge the gap between, like, Israel Hispanic and Shanghai students because ah, <laughs> that's kind of a big world when you come from a small town like Shelton. Clary says she hopes to study civil engineering possibly at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Stanford University, or the University of Washington. She sees the robotics program as helping to prepare her for such a career. I think that it's a really good learning experience and that it'll provide me with some life skills like working on a team and communication. As drive captain, Clary works closely with the team's robot driver, Tristan Newby, who says the team's success was unexpected. It really means a lot to me. I didn't expect they would make it this far this year, to be honest. Newby described what the future might hold for him. I plan on going into some sort of video game development, which uh, learning how to code a robot and learning JavaScript through this program definitely would help that. So I learned a lot of coding information, which would definitely be helpful when developing video games. Shelton High's math instructor and robotics team coach Jeremy Wright explains why he believes the team was successful. The kids that returned from last year, they know what worked and what didn't and we just tried to work on our short sides and build on our successes and they just kept doing well our robots simple but effective team member keith hansen the father of team member kirsten hansen says he loves robotics competitions because even though you're there to compete members of other teams are willing to help the teamwork effect that happens the the camaraderie, you were asking him, you mentioned to him earlier about the, the craziness, the circus-like uh, uh, atmosphere. Well, it's that way because everybody's excited that everybody's winning in the process. Founding team mentor Alan Walker, a mechanical engineer who has been involved with the robotics team since November 2013, explains how the robotics team has come a long way. Last place to fifth. I mean, we, we've had quite a few competitions where of 36 teams, we'll finish 32nd, 18th, but no one selects us because we're a rookie team. To donate to the robotics team, see our story at ifiber1newsradio.com. I'm Jeff Chu for ifiber1news.